welcome to the Elimination Season 4 uh, Round 2 uh, Here to entertain you as Pauline, Dave and of course your host Bob Oh, Mark calling us Come in And it is another Elimination Sorry Pauline, did you have something to say? No. <laughs> So, no, which way? <laughs> well, that was weird. No, because I, I didn't realise you pushed the button up. Sandy sounds like a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. What, me or...? No, or... <laughs> that, that boy. Robin Williams, okay. <laughs> um, I am Bob, your host of Illumination. Bob. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. um, and here with my dad, Dave. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you drinking, Dave? It's Tell us all about it. It's, I um, love that little bottle. It's a nice coffee, a mocha. Oh, I don't be doing them, but I love that little bottle. It's really nice. It's like Smashing. A... And ca- uh, Cousin Paul here. Yeah, hello. Um, I've got some... I'm drinking tea. Uh, yeah, you're, uh, I've got a tea as well, made by Dave. He always makes a good one. Hopefully this one's a good one. Dave's I, got I a paper idea. straw. Yeah, paper straw. No wrong with paper straws. Oh. Um, I did want to say, this is something weird. I I don't drink coffee. We all know that. No, it's sort of adults do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you like my beaner? I do. I love a beaner. Fruit shoe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I always choked to my fruit shoe. Um, uh, and neither does my partner, Vicky. She doesn't drink coffee. Guess what she bought this week? Coffee, coffee. machine. Yep. A coffee machine. But you don't drink it. <laughs> no. We'll take it off your hands for a <laughs> She said, no, no, I'm not she said what I'm going to do, I'm going to have the coffee machine there and next to it I'm going to have a, a pot that's going to have all the pods in it. Yeah. And I said, but you're never going to use it. She said, no, it looks good. Like, it looks, like, modern and that. And when your mum and dad come over, we can we can give them a latte or a flat white or something like I that. I said, so. And I said... Yeah. That's a lot of money to spend on yeah. something that you don't like yourself. Yeah. I said... Um, but she did say it does hot chocolate. Oh. So... But she won't eat Kids hot chocolate. Yeah. I thought she was going to get an air for a while. That's on the cards, but she might. She's changed all the sides around, so oh. she's bought them a new microwave she's because it's a different new colour. Bits, isn't she? Yeah, she's got all different colours. Anyway, she's mental. Let's move on. Uh, this, <laughs> we're starting with a question time. Would you like to go on a cruise? No, absolutely not. The end. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't at all. Why? Vic says that when you see the adverts and it's big cruise I line. Think of anything worse? Why? Because you've seen Titanic. I think there's a tsunami. <laughs> my, my biggest fear is. If you're a tsunami, a tsunami, you're out at sea, you wouldn't even notice yeah, it. Yeah, just be a ripple. No, oh, imagine you're the just boat going, oh. swaying, laying there at night, swaying from. Oh, if, if I know in advance before I get on the boat, if I had a mind reader that tells me there is no. You won't get seasick. <laughs> What's going on over there, <laughs> Dave? That's the enemy coffee. <laughs> Rocky, it won't be a tsunami. Imagine being in a storm. At... No, I don't want to be on the water. Floating hotel on the water. No, give me a hotel. Get away no, from the storms. I don't want to risk anything. I don't want to be on a floating hotel. I like the fact, though, taking you to all different places and you get off and go and sit. Yeah, but that's the problem I've heard. We have to queue up to get off. Yes, yeah, so it's like in 15 up stone heavier up from when you get off. Hours. And what happens Boom when you if you miss it? If you miss it, that was yeah, like, we're running after all your and... all your luggage, everything gone. I, I don't, I never. He doesn't appeal to me. I like the idea of I like the, idea I like, of the food. I like the, the idea of just because I'm quite lazy. I don't like travelling. That's you get to sort of see other places and see things, experience stuff. I wouldn't get off the boat if I'm honest. My way in work went for a cruise down the Nile. That, that's that's um... out of the boat and into mm. the Nile. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Dave. No, it doesn't appeal to me. I've only got so much money to spend on holidays, so I wouldn't even entertain. One ten million on the lottery Saturday, I might go just to try it. But um, I've got a mate who does go on them regular. He loves them. The one a lot of people absolutely love them, don't they? The bad thing about it, obviously. Death is probably one bad thing about Seasick. it. But also, yeah, I mean, do you feel it on the boat that big, though? Do you... Probably not. Yeah, sometimes it's when you walk, of... you're walk, you're walking like this. What? Yeah, how, would you, how do you know if you've never been on one? I know, because I watch vlogs. This might make me sound really sad, but I watch certain people on their vlogs, and the, a couple that I watch have gone on a cruise holiday during their vlogs, so they've vlogged the holiday. And only one of the days, they were walking, but 
not massively like like down that, a bus but they were like saying the oh bus. this rocket is bad today and I was thinking oh god imagine yeah and if you don't know your seat terrible on the snooker table down below <laughs> All the balls up against one cushion. Plus, have you ever typed in disasters with air flight disasters? Why would you? Why would you? All the, all the tables and chairs. Yeah, it's the windows way, smashing. The window, the... Psh, yeah, and then that old lady drops a oh. diamond in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can get lost with that. I'll, I'll, oh, I want the food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big old, can eat. Big old buffet. <laughs> I remember once we, when I went to the Maldives and um, we went on an island hop thing where you go to one beach and it's deserted and you get to sort of have lunch there and then you go. And it, it was a t- tiny, long boat where, where you could sit in facing somebody You mean else. narrow? Narrow boat. Yeah, did you I say that? tiny, long boat. Tiny, long, yeah, yeah. A narrow, long Narrow, narrow boat. boat. Narrow's the word, yeah. Um and uh, and yeah, you sit and your knees are almost touching the person opposite you, like it's long like that, um, with about say ten people each side. Um, and we were in the middle of the ocean, like literally you couldn't see any land, and there was a storm, and it it lasted probably about five minutes, but it was it was something out of a of a like castaway or something because like that. The, it was are different storm- abroad. Yeah, it was like you somebody... know by Florida. I mean, look at their yeah, storms. Yeah, yeah, and it scary. wasn't like rain. It was like it was like full on under the tap, like yeah. It and hurt the boat was rocking, and that. Oh. we was waiting on, and then um, the, the... but then you got the guys uh, standing up, just holding on to the side of the thing. It's like hey, it'll pass in a minute, yep. and it did. It just passed, and then it was sunny again. We was all like, can we go oh, home now? I yeah. Like it. And I didn't like that anyway, because you go to that deserted island and everything moves. Everything's got something living in it or on it or oh, you around see it. the sand. And, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Everything just sort of moves. That I didn't Creepy like that. Creepy crawlies. Yeah. Oh, but a barbecue on a deserted island? No, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I hate, admit that I don't hate appeal it. To me, I was sunburnt on the shoulders as well, like blistered oh. and that. Was, yeah. Weren't a good time. Weren't a good time. I was sweating. See? Lizards in the bath turning up. Bats flying over the swimming pool. I hated it. The ex-wife. <laughs> Let's not mention that. I mentioned the wall once. Got away with it. Um, yeah, good times. Good times. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> uh, no, no, I would not go. All you had to say was no. Yeah, I'd give it a go. I, I think I would. But the biggest problem is, is that if you, if you get on board and the person in the cabin next to you is like, oh, hello. Sure. You're stuck with them for the whole thing. Yeah. Whereas if you're on the same in the same holiday, yeah, you be bumping into them in the yeah. restaurant. Oh hello! Oh, they're from South East London. They are like, oh, we're from Essex. Oh, we gotta to stick together. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but they might be nice people when you make friends. Oh, um, there are nice people in the world. There are also c-word people. Would you like to go on a cruise? No. No, not for me. Uh, and now t- time for a shingle update. Shingle update shingle. of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Have we peaked yet, Dave? Uh, Surely you've peaked by now. I drank yeah. another bit. I mean, you're 74, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I got up before I went to bed last night. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's big news. No, it's, uh, it's still there. Still lingering. It's lingered longered. Why do you have to let it linger? On your finger. Is that all right? I don't know what that was. Not all right. Uh, I'm going to taste my tea. Go for it. Mark tea out. Ice. Mark out ten. Tea update of the week. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Nice tea, mm. isn't it? He makes I just, the best tea. I just burnt my tongue. <laughs> no, it's no, it's no, no, it's not. It was really nice. Really nice. And I'm drinking out of a mug with my own face on it. Special. Oh, brilliant. Uh, right, the draw has been done. Uh, Rowan Atkins, Atkinson, a.k.a. Mr. Bean, and Johnny English. And Blackadder. And Blackadder. Never seen Blackadder. And not the 9 o'clock news. Yep. I haven't seen that either. And Lee Mack, a.k.a. The 1% Lee Mack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen him live. You have. I'm quite jealous of that. Who bought you tickets? Who bought you tickets? You did. I I saw him at the Apollo where I saw, um, what's it? And also seen him down local, Chatham. Who was it you said you'd seen at the Apollo? Like, 
last week? Who did you see at the Apollo? Vegan Bob. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. Well, it's a long week ago, a long, long time ago, isn't it? Better all the last week. Lee Mack is just a... <laughs> <laughs> Lee Mack is just a funny man. He's just a funny oh, and he's very so quick-witted. Funny. I don't understand how um, not going out is still going. I'm not sure. I've not really ca- Who's I've, watching I've, I've it? I've not really watched it. I mean, if, well done on him kind of making it for that long. But he did say, I remember an interview with him, and he said, oh, I just want to stop writing it. But uh, So please stop watching it, and I'll, I have to stop writing it. And people are like, boo. And but it's been going ages. With his comedy, I might be really wrong here. What is it on? Sky One? What's it on? Uh, no, BBC. I think it's a ITV BBC oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why okay. it is, because it's family friendly. It. I've seen it. the early episodes, but I don't know how it's still going. Go on, sorry. Um, I don't, it's gone. <laughs> okay, see you later. Oh, yeah. I might be wrong here, though, but what I've seen... Probably. His com- like, highly likely. <laughs> his comedy isn't horrible to people, is it? You know where you've got Jimmy Carr and Frankie your Boyle, man, and yeah. Ricky Gervais, where they think you think, oh, you're laughing, but some of them... No, think, he's, oh, he's a funny... He's, he's a funny clown, about yeah, yeah, to be yeah. nasty to people, and, and yeah. I really like that. I'll bet he could come back at a head. Oh, I bet he could, yeah, but I... It's just, yeah. Yeah, I like everything about him. He was good on Taskmaster, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. It, they did that task where the task was written on the toilet roll. And he went in there and he went, right, let's get ready for the task. And he went in the toilet and ripped it off, blew his nose. <laughs> and he went, right, okay. And he's looking for the task, looking under, looking everywhere. And he's like, oh, I just flushed it away. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, that was, yeah, he's funny. He was dressed like Evil Can Evil, wasn't he? <laughs> what, did you, what did you think of the last series of Taskmaster? I didn't mind it. I thought it was going to. I really didn't like the panel. I thought, oh god, I don't know any of these people. But I actually quite liked it in the end. Hmm. I, I, the it was one of the better ones, though, was it? Oh no, but it wasn't the worst. Definitely not the worst. No, that was the. Ideal. But do you know who's who's on the next one? No, which has almost come out. Uh, really? Almost come out. Yeah, yeah, it's um. Oh, oh God, what's his name? Someone good. Um, I'm surprised Vic Reeves ain't been on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, oh, God, I can't think of his name now. Toby Cooper? No, he's another... I think he was a drag queen or something. Um, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. Anyway. Um, well, it can't be Paul O'Grady or Barry Humphreys, can it? Oh, that's a shame. No, who's the... Uh, there's an innuendo kind of person. Very camp. Um... Liz Dawson, I mean, uh, not Liz Dawson, um, Larry Grayson. No, <laughs> oh, uh, I think he was in Ooh, the most. Look at the muck in here. <laughs> I think, I think the um, the most recent Carry On film he was in that. What was that? Carry On Columbus in nineteen eighty five. No, they did a nineties one, didn't they? The rubbish one. Yeah. Google it. Carry On Columbus. That's I ain't got my years. phone. That's thirty years ago, Bob. Oh, I can't doubt. But it's no one like he's saying. What's the It is. It's a camp person that you've not seen for a very long time. Um, that we do know. Yeah, you do know, definitely. It will come to me. I've got in my in my head like a C. C. Oh, Julian Cleary. That's it. Yes. Yeah, I think you'd be pretty yeah. good at it. I there you go. I like Julian Cleary. The John where, Collins been, fan though? club. But where's he been? Where's I ain't seen him on anything for Where's Weedy been? <laughs> is he on, on his own? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he, he's in costume and he's at five different people. Oh, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> where's your wheelie been? <laughs> where's your wheelie been? Where's your wheelie been? Um, yeah, Julian Clary, that's it. Yeah. Um, good times. That's the next season. I don't know if I recognised any others. How are you doing, Dave? I saw you wince yeah, there. You yeah, you struggled. There was a shingle wince. There was a wince. It was. Yeah. Every arm. Shingle. Well, be under arm. Are you take, do you take tablets for it? Like, is there something you can take? That yeah, I've got tablets. I don't see it done any good at all. Oh. I don't want to take a load of paracetamol. It's a dangerous drug. I can't yeah. take aspirin because I'm allergic to aspirin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll return the favour, Dave, and I'll carry you up to bed. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Vic the other day... There are jogs. There's only next door one, <laughs> <laughs> um, There's no... I, in my head, there's no better feeling than somebody putting you to bed. Not whether you're a kid... Well, when you're, you're a... 
Well, he was on holiday last and you were pissed up. <laughs> but yeah, if, if, if you're drunk and somebody puts you to bed or no. if, you, if you're not well and somebody says, come on, get yourself under... There, there's no better feeling than that. I've got memories. I'd like Scarlett Johansson to tuck me in. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you would, boy. <laughs> I've got memories of being, so I must be really young, coming home from Yvonne's, being fucked like asleep, and Dad, you know when it's freezing cold, and yeah. Dad carrying me up yeah. there from was the a, car, whereas I fell asleep in the car. Yeah, there was no, I used to pretend to be asleep so that Dad would oh, carry me up. I didn't do that. I, I mean, it was free flight, free stories up. I guess that's up. a lot of stairs as well. <laughs> Does your Dad still fall asleep? Because he used to fall asleep a yeah, lot, no, didn't he? Yeah, no, not... Oh, he's grown out of it, yeah. is he? <laughs> He woke up. <laughs> but I reckon it's since he retired, he, he didn't. Yeah. Because I reckon it was... Because I know how it feels starting at four in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So when you think he used to have to start at that sort of time, and then mum would have planned for him to do something... Cool, he used to annoy your mum, didn't it? Oh, she used to dear. elbow him, yeah. Yeah. But he <laughs> We'd all be there. <laughs> We'd all be there going up and <laughs> like, sitting in the sun. I was really used to do a quiz at Christmas. And, uh, uh, he, he weren't the best Yeah, quiz. Christmas. Yeah. Busiest with all he, the turkeys. He, he wasn't the best quizzer in the world. I wonder where I, mean, I get it, it from. It must be said. <laughs> it must be said. But um, <laughs> it was like individuals going around the room. <laughs> and then one year, he was normally down the bottom of the league. He used to get a trophy. And uh, he was winning. After no. About, yeah, he was actually winning. <laughs> no. You know, no. It was like Joni 8, so so 9, Les 12. He was Living winning. Nick. And he come round and I'd go around the questions. I turned around. Right, Les. <laughs> you only answered a question two minutes ago. <laughs> but he has grown up. Yeah, since he retired. Another thing he used to do was your mum up was kick his leg, wasn't it? No, that... Has he grown out of that yeah, as well? Yeah, he doesn't do that as much. Well, he does, but not as... Vigorously. Not as much. When, when he Maybe you don't, you don't annoy anyone else. <laughs> 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 describe it, though, because that the kicking in your leg sounds weird no, on podcasts. What's the... Imagine you're crossing your legs. Imagine crossing your legs. Leg so you're yeah. sitting down, you're crossing your legs, yeah. and the leg on top is now... He's like this. Yeah, but I'm saying what for the you, listeners. What you do? I know, I know what I do, but people oh, can't so see. Cross yeah. your legs so the bottom of your feet are crossed over each other, and then the swinging of the leg is what Mum used to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. And he just used to swing his foot from side to side. <laughs> he didn't even know he was doing it. it. Didn't bother me and Chris, but Mum would be like, "Right, <laughs> where yeah. she tie his legs up." <laughs> No, no, as a joke. <laughs> as a joke one day. <laughs> she did as a joke one day. She was right. Because so she, she's so weird. And then she used to sit there like that. Oh, God. <laughs> like, I'm about, but she's... And he'd go, oh, I didn't realise. Because I swear, once he got into watching telly, yeah. like, he's my, he was just doing it without even knowing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, or she'd get a book and put it there. And then he go, oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Didn't realise. <laughs> oh. What, what? We've all got our annoying little habits. I was just going to say, uh, uh, what, what's yours, Dave? What's wifey oh, ever got? got? Everything, everything. <laughs> everything. Just walk in the room, yeah. Uh, well, I, I was having a conversation with Pauline, and, and Vicky just has some of these days where I'm just the worst human in the world. She just can't everything I do, days. everything I do, just annoys her. And yesterday was one of those days where she just, she, oh, can you stop playing with your beard? Can you stop picking your feet? And you say you stop biting your nails. Stop. Yeah, oh, I fidget a lot. That, I, I fidget a lot. I don't like you doing that. What? Your feet thing. When I've been round here, and you, when you used to live here. Yeah. And you just used to pick your face. But I don't know why. I, I don't know. It's like your dad and his foot. I don't know I'm sort of doing it. I, it's yeah. just, I'm just doing it. Feet, surely you make your feet sore. Oh, they are sore right now, yeah. Three of, three of my toes on my right foot are bleeding. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you something. <laughs> why, know, yeah. I'll tell you something why he does this a bit. She does it every, every, nearly every Saturday we have uh, eggy soldiers for breakfast, yeah. right? And I'm, I'm this egg man. I have to go and do it, right? Uh, she's the walrus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so she's the cheese lady. <laughs> if you do a cheese, she does it. Do uh, so she sits in her chair in the corner of the room, and normally we watch her like a murder documentary or say it while we have it. She'll have it on a tray, tray on her lap, yeah? So anyway, she, she knows I'm out there doing it, and she's be on her phone waiting for me. I'll come in, I'll bring her, she has black pepper, I'll bring the black pepper in it and a, a bit of paper, a serviette type thing yeah. ready for her. So she knows it's on its way. And then, last thing I'll do, she can hear the eggs coming out, the toast being scraped. Um, and then I'll come in with the tea. So she, now she knows she it's knows imminent, really on but she's way. still on her phone. 
and then I'll come in with hers, and I'll get right over the top of her, and she'll go, oh, and she'll jump like I've made her jump, <laughs> like, I've, like I've just turned up for this for no, for Mars. Teleported <laughs> in. Oh, well, like you didn't see you there, like, and she'll do it. Every Saturday morning. She, yeah, I mean, she does jump jump easily. Oh. She, uh, she is one of those people. She's terrible when she's in the passenger seat of the car. I you go along about me. and someone come up on the left-hand turning, yeah. but they just come in there and they stop. She goes, oh, 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 oh. Of course, I'm jumping out of my skin. Because yeah. <laughs> I thought they were going to come straight out. Why would they come straight out? <laughs> I've, I've watered my, my response down because Vicky doesn't like my driving, so she drives whenever we're both in the car. And, yeah, um, I've noticed that. It's always Vic that drives. Yeah, she, she just doesn't like She feels sick if I drive, <laughs> um, which is fine. I, I, she hates everything about you. She <laughs> yeah. Sick if you drive. yeah. Uh, I do say to her, who's the fool here? <laughs> Me doing all of these stupid things, or you, you chosen yeah. to be with me. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I, I press the invisible brake. I, oh, u- I used to go, oh, and and because she don't break, she breaks the last minute. And if somebody is cut, like you say, sort of coming from the left to, into our lane, she's, uh, and I don't know if she does it on purpose, but she'll speed up a little bit so that it's closer than what it has to be. And she'll say, oh, well, that. Oh, oh life is always going about going too close to the car in front. He's going to roll back. He's going to roll back. He's going to roll back. <laughs> Even though we're going downhill. <laughs> yeah. She was. She was told when she was doing a, a driving in the instruction. The bloke told her that when you pull up behind the car, you must see half the car in front's back wheel. And of course, if you go any closer oh, than that, you should be able to see half his back wheel. Should be you well, got? She says it every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That does so I go, I go half inch away just to wind her up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's she's. Um, but she don't like driving. At no, home, she's she? losing the power to drive. She hasn't. Well, she hasn't driven since I can't, the smart I, car. I can't remember the last time Since she, she had a smart car. Yeah. Probably the last time I, I saw her drive when we was on holiday and she drove home from the Indian. That was a year ago, nearly. That's Some people the, do that, don't they? That's probably the last time. But she'll definitely have to drive when we go out to Worcester because if we go out for a meal, I'll be having me beer and yeah. wine, mate, and she'll have to drive home. She has to have a little bit of a practice. Well, I did a practice with her, didn't I? We <laughs> went out and we drove down the... Um, I mean, some road. I don't know. Even though I don't want to bring up the uh, S word again, but even though I've got my problem at the moment, sex. I'll still have to get up at half six and drive her to work when she could just easily take the car herself oh, and park there, free parking. Yeah. Where does she work, Gunlane? The next road. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> next yeah. road along. Oh. Instead of right, left. That's where she works. Well, now everyone knows where she works and when she retires. And well, she really is. <laughs> She won't even roll the yeah, car down yeah. the hill. <laughs> roll the car down the hill. <laughs> Plus, you're not well. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, but when the Queen needs driving. That's a deep... <laughs> that's a deep um, Deep-rooted issue. Yeah, yeah, she's proper scared then, isn't she? Yeah, I mean, if she's scared passenger, she's going to be even yeah. worse driving. And yeah, when she does drive, she's really safe as ours. I was going to say, because when we came home from the Indian, you'd never believe in a million years that she was worried about driving. Yeah, she did it with her eyes shut. Well, we didn't even know her way round, did we? Or ran there. No, that's First true. time being there, and she did it. Yeah, good times. Well, this is crap podcast, isn't it? <laughs> Talking about wifey's <laughs> driving. <laughs> What's your annoying habits, Pauline? I've got none. I'm perfect in every way. Well, I don't know. I haven't got any. In your relationships we've had before, what's been their biggest annoyance? No, the only thing that ever used to really annoy Craig is if I was singing. If you was, oh, well, yeah. If yeah, I was singing in the kitchen, you can't so sing. please. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but I don't remember. I'm quite. A, what about quite things a happy that annoy you? What about Lewis? Has he got annoying? No, he's quite easy. Oh, how boring! That is boring. Easy like it? a Sunday morning. But he's just. He really is the easiest person in the world. Well, I don't see mm. him most of the time. It's <laughs> probably why it's easy. Well, he's drunk most of the time. But it's just, <laughs> it's just easy to live with. Well, that was a boring answer. Sorry. Uh, Rowan Atkinson. I made one up. Pauline, <laughs> tell me about these two people. Well, Rowan Atkinson, Mr Bean, my whole... Would it be childhood, teenage years or 20s, would you say? What year was Mr Bean? I was really small. So would you say I was a teenager? Yeah. Yeah, probably. That's been... Well, not 9 o'clock news was early 80s, I think. So it must have been after that. 
Probably late eighties, I would have yeah. thought. And Mr. Bean is an alien, isn't he? What? He's an alien. What do you mean? Well, he's an alien. He's that, that he's not from this planet. I mean, the opening sequence is a light from, and then he falls. I didn't know that. Bean. <laughs> I actually did. But that's the opening thing. You know when they say, how old were you when you realised that Miss... Oh, now. <laughs> right this second. Right this second. Yeah, that's... but I didn't take no notice of that. I just, that. That's just the start. That's the... Yeah, that's the... In... The light Is comes that down. Is true, Dave? I've never heard of that. No, you've but made that been, up. I, I've never really watched it. I've not you made... have made that's that up. That's the intro, though, isn't it? Of a beam of light. And he falls. falls down. Yeah. Yeah, but he's not an alien. But it makes sense now, though, doesn't it? Because he doesn't... Un- I hate to admit it, but yeah. Because he doesn't get anything. He doesn't understand things. And he's an alien. That's what they phone. Is Mr Bean oh, an alien? I will when I go downstairs. Well, definitely... Is Mr Bean an alien? I've just always thought that. I think you thought wrong. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just a man that's... Not all. Well, you know what he's doing when his car broke. Uh, yeah, he, he parked drive. his car in that place where he shouldn't park it, and he got the uh, the bonnet open and put the false legs under, like someone was working <laughs> on. <laughs> Say something. It's quite clever, really. Oh, I don't think he's an alien. He, I don't know. He really is. He, I mean, I've never, I've never really this. been a fan of Bean. Oh, boom. <laughs> Um, we, uh, I mean, I remember us watching it, and it was the anticipation, it was hilarious the anticipation of how this is going to go. And I always remember the one where he's in church with a snot, and he gets a tissue, and it literally turns into like a snot oh. balloon, and he doesn't know what to do with it, and he's sort of balancing it, yeah. and in the end, it just explodes. But you don't see the explosion. You don't see it cut. I think it went to black, and it goes. Poof. <laughs> and you just <laughs> yeah you picture it yourself but and he has that party doesn't he where the neighbours are coming around and it's a Christmas party and he opens the window and pulls the branch in from the tree and, and cuts it oh, up and then dips it in Marmite so it's twiggling oh, I'll just be with a turkey on his head. Oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah. hilarious. The one where he orders the steak, the cheapest thing, it was steak tartar, you know, where it's raw, and he's trying to hide it all, isn't he? And he writes his own birthday card out and opens it. <laughs> oh, it's... And the one in the queue where he's at the, I don't know, played in Meeting the Queen and all the queue of Oh, people. is that the film? That's the film, isn't it? No. Oh. And then... Um, she comes along and he bows and headbutts her. Have you not seen that? Have you not seen that? I think that... Where well, he's practising his bow before she comes. And then she turns up yeah, and, and he headbutts her. It's such, a, it's such a strange character for somebody so kind of smart to play. Do you know what I mean? It's not yeah. like... He's, you know, he's, he's a really smart I think guy. he peaked with the Black Adder series 2 with the uh, Prince Regent with Hugh Laurie. I think that character... And Hugh Laurie and Baldrick, I just think it's great when when he burnt the uh, the diary. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's just making up words, wasn't he? <laughs> I was in an encyclopedia. Is it that's dictionary? Right. Dictionary. Um, Robbie Coltrane yeah. is the guy. Yeah, he's written out the first dictionary. It's all in handwritten. Yeah, yeah that's right. And yeah. he starts making up words, and yeah, he's right, like, "Oh yeah. god, I haven't put that yeah. word in that word in." And he throws it in the fire. Um, yeah, I, don't, I mean, Johnny English is lost oh, on me. I don't. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. No. Um, I only really like Mr. Bean. Did you not like Mr. Bean? Are you, oh, well, I was just. Yeah, I was going to say before. I liked him in uh, Not Nine O'Clock News. I think they were a good team. Yeah, uh, Smith and Jones and. And uh, oh. Pamela Stevenson. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I always remember that being a kid. That was that was sort of our level, wasn't it? It was like tripping over and like some others do have them and that kind yeah. of. Slapstick, and there wasn't a lot to understand with Black Adder as a kid. I didn't understand a lot of the stuff with Bean. It just was what you saw, yeah. and it was always that anticipation of how is going to end, how is he going to get himself out of this. Uh, remember the the guy on the beach who was blind, but you didn't know he's blind. He was getting changed, that's right, trying oh, that's not it. to show him. Yeah. So yeah, and then the guy gets up and just but he, and he's wasted all that time. But yeah, I don't I don't remember because it's not it's not a sitcom, is it? It was sort of sketch. Just sort of like a sketch. Yeah, but it was yeah. only one sketch, wasn't it? It was only one story, wasn't it? No, there's a few sketches in the half hour. Oh, is it? Yeah. 
I remember watching it when it first started and being sort of a bit amused. I just sort of lost interest. My mum absolutely hated it. Mm. Absolutely hated it. It was the worst thing. It used to make her angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how some things do that. Sometimes I put on uh, It's Always Sunny and it's like, oh, I can't, I can't even have it on in the room. I can't yeah, even have it because yeah. it's, it's just too... I, I have the same with The Simpsons. The, the Simpsons. Simpsons. Gives me a headache. I can't watch it. I can't. Are they still actually making new ones? Yeah, yeah. I stopped watching that years and years ago. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's the longest running whatever, isn't it? We but... started watching, um, but we're not watching, we're whizzing through it. We've seen it about three times already. Just Good Friends with Paul Nicholas and Jerry Oh, I Gorsis. remember mum and dad used to watch that. Yeah, it's very that gentle. Good. It's written yeah. by uh, John Sullivan. So, And it actually, oh, okay. at the same time, Only Balls and Horses was going. Can I just move your mic, Dave? Because you're talking over it and I can't... Yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, Fools and Horses started in 81 and these were in 1983, so they actually overlapped. It's all right, I mean... I can't imagine writing two things at the same time. That must be so... Well, I suppose it's... I don't know, it might be a good thing. I mean... Take your mind off it, right, okay, yeah, come back with new ideas. Yeah, yeah maybe it is. Yeah. Do you like to do that? Write two at the same time? Oh, stressful. I mean, if, if... Yeah, but it's, that's... It's good stress. Because yeah, because I, I have a similar thing with my podcast because I have different things. I have music, football, football. and I've started doing tennis now as well. And if I get fed up doing one for hours and hours, so yeah, I'll, yeah. Do, I'll do one for an hour, then do another one for an hour, it's quite good. Yeah. So I can understand that would be a good thing. Yeah. If you've got if he's got the talent to do that, I mean... Yeah, if you, if you can deliver, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if there's a there's a sort of... Sometimes it can sort of be mer- too close yeah. together at stages, but yeah, I, I, I really. If somebody was going to pay me, and and that's the stress I've got to be able to do six episodes in, mm, you'd have it. in oh, I would love it. I would love it because now it's like I'm trying to fit a square peg in a round hole all the time because it's trying to fit around normal life. Mm. Ah, we'll get there. Mm. When I make my first million, yes. This time go on a cruise. This <laughs> time go on a cruise, yeah. And take the whole family with you. Or just send the family away. Send the family on the cruise I'll and chill out. I'll just stay at home. Yeah, entertainment's supposed to be good on cruises, isn't it? A lot of and choice. And cinemas Apparently. as well and theatre and oh, everything, yeah. don't they? Yeah. We've got a karaoke room. <laughs> that, that'd be called your cabin, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How thin are them walls, though? That's the thing. You're in your cabin. I'm in the cabin next door, and I can hear, trailer for <laughs> sale or rent mm. at four in the morning. <laughs> How many people can you fit on a cruise? Oh, it's About a 28. Lot. 20. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. It's a bit scary. How does that yeah. float? You've got swimming pools, haven't you? The do you, top do you drive onto it like a ferry? No, don't be so silly. No, you don't. Oh, you, don't. Just, you don't get your car on it. <laughs> well, I don't know. The that is a ferry, Bob. You're David to Calais. I'm, I'm just asking the question. The listeners might not know. Oh, you're going to holiday educate. with your car. <laughs> no, you arrive at the whatever port it is, leave your car in the car park, or if you've flown to the destination where oh. the boat is, do you okay, drive? Imagine just... the cars. Yeah. I remember when I went to Normandy... Um, we took our car, and as we were going on to, is it Eurostar or some? It was a train. We drove onto the train, and there was a car show on the same time. And we parked our car, and around us was like this array of Rolls Royces and Ferraris, oh. and and then there, there was our um, what was it? What did you have? Um, it was blue, <laughs> Peugeot, Peugeot two hundred six. Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to have a Peugeot. The blue, yeah. Um, just in the middle of all these beautiful cars. Uh, good times. Um, Lee Mack, Pauline. Lee Mack. Tell me about Lee Mack. He's one of my favourites. His hit, I'm not allowed to say what my other favourites are, am I? Otherwise, well, you can't. It's too up much to you. away. But he's up there for me, right up there. One <laughs> percent uh, love Everything what, about yeah, him. He does. he does make me laugh. He's not. Crude, not that I, I don't mind crude humour, but I just love everything about him. Even him, even on when he does soccer Aid. charity thing. Yeah. I just like him as a person as well as his comedy. Yeah, I don't think there's ever been um, sort of a negative 
you know, that, like Bob Mortimer, I suppose, you just feel like that's who you'd get yeah. if you was to meet him. And hit on that with a lighter is so quick. Yeah. Really quick. I just really like everything. 1% club. I love that, and I'm good at that. I know Dave don't believe me for one second, but it's actually true. So really, I'm rubbish at general knowledge. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing. But, but these are all patterns. That sort and... of thing. Yeah. My mind works. If you've not seen it, One Percent Club is is a quiz show with a hundred people playing, and the questions are not quiz questions, general knowledge. They are questions like, "What do these four words have in common?" And they'd all end in like a body part, or they would be, yeah. or, or they would be in alphabetical order. Yeah, yeah. There'd be a, some kind of pattern. Oh, and how or, do these link together? Yeah. yeah. Which one of these photos? And sometimes, is like wrong. sometimes, you can see it instantly, especially with the first question, which is obviously the easy one. But people still get that wrong. Yeah, we, yeah, we lost believe. seventeen. <laughs> what the hell? How? Yeah. That one with the tennis players. You just can't believe. There are two twins that? playing tennis, didn't you? And Eddie, you tell Ed as the umpire, tell them apart. I don't think I remember that one. And one was right handed, one was left handed. Yeah, don't remember that one. But that was about 25. Yeah. That's unbelievable, <laughs> Jeff. And one of the things was B's knees. You had a picture of a B and a picture yeah, of a knee. Yeah. The very first one to give us yeah, what words, idea. Yeah, what words, yeah. Right, we but, got eight out. <laughs> but you think about it, you've, you've travelled from wherever you are to Manchester, which is where they film it. You've been in the studio, or not all day, but you've been in the green room, getting ready, meeting the other people. You put a bit then you go into the studio, and you're sitting there. Okay, we're going to go in. Bright okay, lights. Yeah, yeah, bright lights. Boom, the music and all that you, kind of stuff. You've only got 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. and, and that, I imagine that. Because. And, you're, some and the thing is, you don't see in the first 10, you start panicking. Yeah. And, and people it? probably think, oh, hopefully Mac talks to me. I hope Lee doesn't, doesn't talk, yeah, talk doesn't to me. Talk to me. So you've got that Don't as well. Don't put the spotlight on me. Yeah, so... It, Which is what they did on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire when I was in the audience. They put You went to see Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Twice. I was in the audience of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So you know the Ask the Audience oh, yeah. question. Was this Tarrant days? Chris Tarrant. It's cut every five seconds. Cut, cut, takes forever to record. Yeah. My back was killing. <laughs> and, and so it was, right, Ask the Audience. Chris, your butt, your thingy. And then he tells them the answer the audience said, and then you got the chart, and it had one one percent was give this answer. And that was you. No. <laughs> and, then, and then when it was, so they said it, and it's like right cut, and then the lights come on. Chris Tarrant stood up and he went right. He said, "Who was it?" And nobody was saying, but they knew. But and the spotlight went right on him, and he made them stand up. We were like to sing to him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got back in the chair. Three, two, one. Go. And just carried on. Yeah. Me and Lenore went. Oh, okay. Twice we went. Where did you have to go for that? Um, begun with B. Oh, Birmingham. recording studios beginning with B. Where they do Big Brother. Where they did Big Brother. Bournemouth? Brighton? Oh, my God. No, you know where the Big Barry? Brother house was. I don't know. Why, why would I know Boreham Wood. Boreham Wood? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. They're bringing the Big Brother back as well, aren't they? Yeah, are they? they are. Yeah. Yeah. Channel 5. <laughs> when? Uh, oh, summer. It, it said summer it? on the thing. Who's doing it? Who's well, someone here? Um, Judy and Clary. <laughs> <laughs> no, that woman, that quite jokey woman. I've no idea. Oh, I don't know her name, but I know what she looks like. Is she fat? No, she's really thin. I don't know who she is. No. Can't think of her name. No. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll watch maybe the, I will the watch first it, one. Definitely. But it's just. It, it lost its peak when, when people started to know that they were going to be famous. They're like, oh, no, I'll go, I'll go in there and be the slaggy one. Or the, and they're just, they're not normal people. The best year ever was your Kate Lawler, your Jade Goody, Alison Hammond, all that, and that fireman. Oh, yeah. You know, that year. Yeah, yeah. Adele, yeah. who's now the DJ. That's right. Yeah, you sort of see their faces pop up. Yeah. One of them ended up on um, the Bake Off the other day I was watching. She oh, was on they? there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Well, we haven't spoken. <laughs> uh, what Lee... do you think of them? You've asked me. What oh, yeah. Well, Warren Atkinson, I, do, I just straight away think about Bean. And I do remember enjoying it as a kid, I remember. But I don't think it's aged well. I wouldn't want to watch it now just in case it is crap. And the films, I, I, as soon as they go from, like, the in-between, as soon as they do a film, I'm like, no, I'm not interested. I couldn't watch them Johnny English things. No, again, they're, they're very much like um, Naked Gun, you know, that kind of humour. Trying too hard. Yeah, yeah, but again, an audience would love it if certain kids and you know of that time don't know any better. With Lee Mack, yeah, he can do no wrong. Oh, he can do yes. no wrong. I even watch clips of him on chat shows and stuff because he's just a nice bloke. I mean that that clip of him with John Cleese and Martin Clunes on uh, I think not Graham Norton. It might be Graham Norton um, where he tells a story about um, Butlins when he was Butlins. He got sacked for Butlins. I've not heard that. I've told it on Did here. Did you say I? it before? Yeah, I saw it growing up. Yeah, yeah. And he, when he says, um, he, he's always wanted to try stand up, and he was at Butlins. And they said, well, all, you, all you've got to do is speak to oh, the I audience. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you speak to the audience and you do these stupid jokes. Go on there, do that, and then write your own stuff and add that on. Everyone does the same jokes. And he did it. And the joke that he was supposed to do was, um, where are you from? Kent. What did you call me? Yeah. That, you know, yeah. So he f- f- totally forgot, panicked, and he said, who's from Kent? And the bloke went, yeah, me. And he said, well, you're a... And said the Z word. <laughs> <laughs> and he got the sack. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's all family friendly. Um, yeah. Well, what about you, Dave? Is this... Uh, I mean, you're black, be black out of fan. Well, I'm not a big black out of fan. I, I didn't like the first one too much. I didn't like. I don't like kid on the first World War one either. I've, I, the second one for me is the one. How many are there? Four. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's the second one or the oh the Queen the Queen Elizabeth one. Oh, with, with the that, yeah, that was yeah good. with Nursey and yeah yeah, yeah yeah that was a good one. But and Rick Mayo and I preferred the uh, Prince Regent one. Do you reckon they could they come back and make one now? I don't see why they couldn't. Uh, he was behind it, wasn't he, old Ben Elton? Yeah, Ben Elton, yeah. He turned up on Britain's Got Talent, didn't he? Did he? He did the rock thing, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he did, from uh, Les Mis. Yeah, he yeah. was... He was no, um, We Will Rock You, yeah. Yeah. I'm not keen on him now. I, I used to like him back in, when he first came out. I actually saw him live. Oh, he was part of the... I saw him live at Tunbridge Wells... Um, Tunbridge Wells? No, not... Um, Milton Keynes. Leisure Centre. He was on the Leisure Centre. <laughs> the Leisure okay. Centre? Yeah. What, just on the side of the pool? No, they, they, <laughs> they, they made this great big gym area like, at a stage and they, everyone was just sitting in chairs. Oh. Quite a lot of people in there. It was a bit strange. He even he made commented on it, like, you know. But he was Live good. at the Leisure Centre. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was in his pomp. I mean, he was a big... Uh, a big act. He was one of the top comedians in the. Yeah, opening. well, he was part of that crowd that changed the game, really. And he, cha- he also changed his spots as well, didn't he? Because it was all Mrs. Fax this and Mrs. Fax that. Now he's as blue as you can get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too keen on him. But we saw a lot of comedians on his show back then. Lee Evans, or, or, name them, and they were on there. Um, I, I saw. Um, who's the bloke we don't like from Young Ones? Alexis Sell. Yeah, I always forget his name. Um, Hello, Jump got a new motor. Yeah. Hello, Jump got a new motor. Yeah. Yeah. I hated that programme. <laughs> oh, I like the other oh, one. Oh, exactly. Pure. Oh, and the other one I cannot handle, which was what Chris and Dad absolutely loved. Bottom. Oh, I loved it at the time. Oh, I, I weren't keen on bottom. I loved it at the time, but... Chris uh, yeah. absolutely, it'd been his... Derek's yeah. like, what are you even laughing at? It's, it's when they uh, had the Christmas one. The bang! <laughs> the <pan laughs> yeah. But he, they were, he's sitting there with um, with Spud Gun, and uh, there's three of them, and he, and he comes over with the potatoes. He goes, how many potatoes? Uh, he goes, three. No. How many potatoes? Um, three. No. One. Uh, yeah, I just have one then. And he takes out his potato, drops on his plate, smashes the plate. <laughs> <laughs> He's only got one potato for everyone. <laughs> oh, it's just awful program. Oh, it, it, that I mean, weren't my humour at all. No, I didn't like it. 
<laughs> got in a 32 though, didn't it? Qualified. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, you go back and watch it now, it's horrendous, but but at the time I really did find it funny. I mean, the, the Christmas pudding, they light it and it's like like a jet engine. Yeah. <laughs> and he's walking around the kitchen like Chris that. Chris will be listening to this. Oh, Chris, good. it was rubbish. It was, yeah, it was, it's rubbish now if you go back and watch it. At the time, no. It's all right. They throw the gas man on top of the bus because <laughs> they think he's dead, but he's not. Oh, good. Oh, Eddie, you've hidden the gas man. Brilliant. Where did you put? And he trips over him. He's under, under the rug. <laughs> yeah, it's good times. Um, uh, quiz, Dave? Yes, let's do it. The quiz. It's called Which One? All you got to do is choose one? which one is the right answer. Wow. Is it between two witches? Well, it might be. Just practicing, Pauline. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get my plucky penny out. Is it lucky? It's giving you shingles, so I don't think so. Uh, tails. Oh. Hey, it's Pauline. Do you want to go first or second? Second, please. Okay. Tails always fails. <laughs> Paul, uh, Bob. Paul or Bob? <laughs> which, what is longer? Oh, no, pay oh, attention. This is a bit rude. <laughs> the height of the Empire State Building. Oh. Or the length of the Titanic. Oh. Cool. I've been um, up the Empire State Building. Hey, Empire. Have you, have you, have you, have you been on the Titanic though? No, I haven't oh, recently. No. <laughs> have you seen the 3D scan they did of it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they did no, a fr- I didn't. 3D scans now have gone ultra mega brilliant. They go down there and they they literally scan it. And then you can get like a, what it looks like under oh, the sea. It's nice. re- yeah, really impressive. Um, anyway. Um, what is longer, the height of the Empire State Building or the length of the Titanic? I, I think I've got to go for Empire State Building. The Titanic was 269 metres long. Oh, yeah. That's longer, isn't it? The yeah. Empire State Building is 443 metres high. Oh. You are right. You are right. Oh, I couldn't work out. <laughs> I couldn't work out. <laughs> Pauline, I forgot the first number. What is the higher number out of these two equations? I, <laughs> I get equations, he gets a flipping number. The ages of the four Beatles, if they were all still alive, <gasps> oh. or William Shakespeare. How old is Paul McCartney, please? Are you allowed to tell me that? No. Is he 80? Say like they all would be 80. That's 320. Is that right? One second, 16, 18, 25. So there'd be 320. And Shakespeare. Yeah. He's Paul McCartney looks older because he's worked um, eight days a week. <laughs> that was bad. How old would Shakespeare be? Would he be 320? I'll tell you how old he'd be. Fucking old. <laughs> I can't say that, I'm David. I'm going to go... <laughs> She's in pain. Oh. Shakespeare, but I think I'm wrong. Is that your answer? Is it, Dave? The Beatles of 324. Oh, my God. I was like, can I have a point for being close? Shakespeare is 400. Hey! hey I'm working out. It was good. Yeah, I was quite impressed. Shake- and I've got 320 really quick. 8, 16, 20, 20, Robert, 20, 20. I would not have got it. Shakespeare walked into a pub. The barman said, you're bad. <laughs> Robert, who is older? King Charles III or Camilla, Queen of the UK? Ooh. What, if they were both alive now? I think that's a joke. I don't think <laughs> no, I know it's a joke from Dave's reaction, so I just laughed. Yeah, uh, I did. So, who was the first one? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! King name. Charles the Third. Charles. Oh, oh, right. oh. Camilla. Queen oh, it's got me. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. No, I thought you were talking about somebody else. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, King Charles, because uh, I was still thinking we had a queen. It's too late. Um, Wishful thinking. Uh, the second one. What one? What, what one? Is the you? woman. The, <laughs> <laughs> queen Camilla. Camilla, Camilla. We don't yeah. even know the queen is. I don't do royals. I don't do... Charles, I don't do 74. Royals. Camilla, 75. Oh, that's close. Pauline. I, t- I totally showed myself up with that question. <laughs> what weighs more? 
Pauline or Bob? <laughs> an, an elephant. Or Bob. <laughs> or a rhino and a hippo. Fully grown. An elephant or a rhino and a so hippo. So you'd think that the obvious would be the rhino and the hippo, two together, but I think it might be a trick. Rhino and a hippo with chips. <laughs> <laughs> but an elephant is a big old beast. Well, they're not all the same weight. What's the elephant made of? Wax. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so, it's so obvious that it's the rhino and the You've broken Pauline, Dave. I've broken Pauline. Going elephant. Elephant is correct. Oh, oh well played. By quite a lot, actually. Um, Robert. Uh, yes, father. Which is faster? A rat the size of a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> a racehorse or a greyhound? And I'm not talking about some old donkey in the 345 at Blunton. I mean a proper Derby, Kentucky Derby. Yeah. So, uh, Lewis's granddad had a racehorse, Oliver. So, I mean, a dog, fast, greyhound. Like racehorses or greyhounds? Are they the same size? What are you talking about? No, I'm saying oh. if, if they were the same oh, size. No. The same Just size. as they are. Yeah. Okay. Is the greyhound on the horse? <laughs> um... I want to say horse, but I don't think I'm going to go there. I'm going to go greyhound. Are you going greyhound? Yeah, I am. Well, a horse can run at 37 miles per hour. Greyhound's quicker than that. But the greyhound goes yeah. 45 yeah, miles per hour. Have you seen them coming out that yeah, yeah, but the, it, yeah, but the idea of the, that a horse race yeah. is different to the small track that the dog races on. Pauline, yeah. what came first? Chicken or the egg? <laughs> Good luck. You'll never get that one right. I oh, know. The first ever cricket test match between England and Australia, oh. or the first FA Cup final? Don't know. Oh, <laughs> Flip a coin. Go no, don't <laughs> Exhale of air. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't know. No, any. cricket. Did Just you say that. cricket or was it goal? <laughs> cricket first test match between England and Australia. Oh, am I? Are you going, are you going yeah. cricket? Yeah. The first FA Cup final was in 1872. Oh, poo. And the first test match five years later, oh. 1872. Did you know that, Bob? No. We played Australia. Guess how we got on? We lost. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Yo What here our screens first The first episode of Only Fools and Horses Or the first episode of Last of the Summer Wine Ooh. Oh Okay okay um, Just old men in a bath going down a hill <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I want to say Last of the Summer Wine that's that one, yeah, that's my answer. Only Fools and Horses, first episode. Do you remember the first episode? What was it? You should do, because you've done the whole podcast. 81. Oh, that's close, that's close. Last know. of the Summer Wine, 1973. Oh, is it that yeah. old? Was it, black? it wasn't black and white, was it? No. no. I don't know why I pictured that black and white. Compo. I'm getting an equation one. Pauline. <laughs> I'm you so glad you said you chose. Yeah, it's your Which own Which series has the most episodes? Friends or Sunday, Monday, happy days. Oh. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend's gone. Oh, my God. Sorry, truck Randy. Uh, He's stop. driving, you know. He's got the windows in. <laughs> Amazon feels got him sick. <laughs> I don't know much about Happy Days. Got to go Friends because that's the one I know. No. Friends, two hundred and thirty-six oh, episodes. I don't have a clue about Happy, Happy Days. Days. Hey, two hundred and fifty-five. Oh. Hey. hey, Robert, who's older, Madonna or Nicole Kidman? Nicole Kidman. Madonna is 64. Nicole Kidman is only 55. Oh. oh. Not even close, oh, no, was it? Not even close. Who's older, Pauline? Who looks older? Madonna. Meryl, 
Meryl Streep or Helen Mirren? Oh, I get them muddled up all the time. Oh, Helen Mirren. Well, Meryl Streep's 73. Oh, no. Gone wrong. Helen Mirren, 77. Oh. Oh, well played. Robert. Yo. What is higher? The Eiffel Tower in Paris or the Shard in London? Now, I've been right next to both of these. Have you been up the Shard? Yeah, no, I've not been, been up, up it. No, I've, I've, I've worked right next to it. Um, I've, I've not been right next to the Eiffel Tower. I've seen it from a little bit of a distance. I think the Shard is taller. The Shard is taller. Oh, yes. I wouldn't have thought that. Pauline. Who has the fastest beats per minute heart rate? Cats or dogs? On <laughs> av- on average. No one can ever know that unless you're a vet. Do you want to ask the audience? <laughs> <laughs> Who has the faster heart rate? I'll cats say or dogs? Cats. Correct, but it's not enough. Oh, what a surprise. Bob wins 5-4. Oh, I think I've just got a couple more questions. To <laughs> it's too late for a lot. There's a lot of time yet. 12-10. A lot of time, a lot of time for you to get well behind, sweetheart. Sweet <laughs> queen. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Another point to me. What's the score? I don't know. Squiggly, <laughs> squiggly against squiggle. <laughs> Uh, right, I suppose we should we should do the old voting. I mean, I'm definitely going Lee Mack. There's I'm no... definitely going Lee oh, Mack. Oh, me too. Oh, free zip. Okay, Lee Mack is through. Ryan that was Atkins. easy. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you can <laughs> find that uh, season of Taskmaster, where, part, Taskmaster, when Lee Mack is on it, you'd really enjoy yeah, that. Yeah, I'll, I'll give that um, a go. Rowan Atkinson is out. Let it rip. And Lee Mack goes through to the next Lee round. Mack. Le Mack. <laughs> I'm just shuffling, bubble shoveling. Bubble, 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 Here we go. Here bubble, bubble, we go. Oh, this one right at the end, Robert. Oh, he's gone for the end oh, one. And I'm going the other end. Oh, oh, two end ones. The two ends, two bookends. Oh, oh. So, just to cover, Lee Mack has gone through to the next round. Oh, this could be Bro- a weak one. This is a weak one. Oh, oh it's no, a buy. I it's... think this is one of Bob's. Yeah, this, okay. is, this is as well. Oh, oh blimey. This could, be a, this could be a nil-nil draw. Yeah. Rowan Atkinson out, Lee Mack through to the next round. Yours will beat mine. The next episode. Oh, no, I think yours will beat mine. Got it, here you go. Because mine's rubbish. Got it. <laughs> rubbish? Whoa. Danny DeVito. Hey. Rob Beckett. Hey. hey. I'm rocking here. Well, have those two names been said ever in the same sentence? Of course they have. Danny DeVito versus Rob Beckett. I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> I'm a fan of both of these, so, well, yeah, let's discuss it next time, shall yes. we? Um, uh, hey, oh, hey, oh. I, I'm just about to do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. I must admit, I thought you'd forgotten. I was ready to go, yeah. oh, look, we're going. We're going to end on diary. That's all right. Everyone panic over. I don't like routine change. I like started to start- with a question. You've thrown this all out at this one. He's drinking cold coffee. Oh, it's all gone tits up in here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Egon, sorry. Diary. <laughs> Thursday, the 13th of March, 1975. Late for work. Oh, my God. How are you not He's sad? back to his best. I don't understand that. We had the overtime in the pub. <laughs> Get paid, then go over the bills for an hour. <laughs> That's the bagon. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Jackie at her work, have a drink in her local, then go to the Elephant ABC to see Death Wish. It's, <laughs> Death Wish? It's pretty good. Put her on a 53, then get a buzz on. I love how you say, put her on it. <laughs> Diary. You had a film Death Wish, didn't you? Charles Bronson. I don't think I do. It's Phil when Wo- you say that name, I only think of Piers Brosnan. No, the film that <laughs> Phil was up with his uh, wife, I think she's played by Hope Lange, and her daughter, <laughs> she... Uh... Oh. Hope Lange. <laughs> <laughs> they, they get um, 
killed, raped and killed by the bad guys. And he's a peace-loving man himself. And it plays on his mind. The police can't do nothing, can't find them. So he decides to become like a vigilante. Oh, hello. And uh, he goes out. And uh, what he does, what did he put in his sock? I think he puts like coins in his sock. Or a snooker ball. Something like that, yeah. I think it might be coins, though. Anyway, he walks around, he's got it in his pocket, and uh, he's he's walking along the street, and he's, he's shoving money around in the bar, and he gets followed. And uh, this bloke comes up behind him and goes, Get your money, man, get your money, man. And he goes, Hold up, hold up. And he turns around, and he whacks him with his sock. <laughs> Knocks him in the next week. It's a nice feel. Then. And then he gets, <laughs> and then he gets um, more and more brutal. Brutal, yeah. yeah. It's a good film. It's a good, big film when it's done. Have you I've heard of that? They right? made, I think they made up to about Death Wish 5, I think. I think they made loads more. Oh, right. Okay. It was pro- uh, directed by that bloke, um, the posh one, the British bloke. Steven Spielberg. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> by Richie. No, he he's t- had a, f- a funny accent, didn't he? Oh, I can't remember his name. That's annoying. Still in mind. People don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was it. Rowan Atkinson is out. Lee Max through to the next round. And we've got Danny DeVito versus Rob Beckett in the next round. Um, we've only got, after this, three more. Are you going to an honourable mentions at the end of this round? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Ones who never made it. Because there are also yeah. ones who never I don't think I've got any. What, our favourites or just in general? All my like people. In general, the ones that would have been considered. Oh, that's all right then, because I've yeah, got, yeah. all my people were in it. Oh, yeah, you've got your own way there then, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. There must only be, like, I'd have to give it some thought. Do you reckon what's it could have made it? What's it? Um, the one you like, the talks to the kids. Talks to the kids. Yeah, Rob- strike it lucky, bloke. Lola oh, Barrymore. Michael Barrymore. Michael Barrymore. Yeah. Oh, he was, oh, he was he hilarious. Was he didn't really have an, his own act. Though, He's better than he? Rob Beckett, isn't he? He was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, but Rob Beckett. No, Rob Beckett is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that. Shush. Yeah. <laughs>